Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask in the world. That's right, today we are looking at user submissions, which is really exciting. We got my N95 set up, so we're doing the NIOS style testing, uh, which is a little bit different. I can explain in a, a link up there. Uh, and uh, this mystery user, mystery viewer, uh, who I'm pretty sure is from Washington, um, sent me uh, a bunch of acid tests. This is the last one. This is uh, from Outdoor Research. So Outdoor Research, I think they're actually based in Seattle, so probably just down the street from wherever this person is. Um, and it looks like they got their NIOSH N95 uh, on this. So uh, pretty excited to look at this. They say it's made in the United States. I actually don't know much about this company. I thought they were more of a brand. Um, this is a KN95 design. I'm actually pretty surprised that this was able to get NIOSH without a nose foam on it. So uh, typically you need like a nose foam to get that extra seal on there. So that's pretty interesting. And then also uh, the staples, as you can see, go right through, um, which I can actually see the holes, which means there would be some leakage there. So that is very interesting, but it's got the TC number. I'm like looking on you know their website. So it does appear that they do have N95. Without further ado, Let's put it in the clamper. My clamp cam is damaged at the moment. Not really sure what happened there. Uh, this is a little bit different setup than before. Like I said, you can check out how this differs. Uh, the, the, we are doing a slightly different test than what NIOSH would be doing. Um, and uh, really the big difference is how it seals around the mask. All right, let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. I'll put that link one more time if you want to find out how this setup works. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, I don't like the way this looks. I've seen a lot of this. I like that they they did the uh, I did that they did the uh, staples. That is like usually a much better. Wow, that ain't going anywhere. Holy cow! You could hold up like 40 pounds of Starbucks beans with this. They're from Seattle. Um, let's try it on. Again, I appreciate whoever sent these to me, but if you're going to send me, wow, that was a great mount, great mount, Lloyd. Uh, is that how you put a mask on? I don't even know. If you're going to send me these, please send me in the box so that I can verify, you know, the way it, the box and label and all that. I don't like the way this smells. I'm going to take it off. It was just sitting in the bag though, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, I'm gonna to need to buy some of these now <laughs> to really test them, uh, to see how good they are. But uh, yeah, it is really tight on my face. I don't like the way that it, it feels and it, I need a little bit more uh, head strap. It was like a little bit too tight for me, but man, that it's very strong. I, I think it, seriously, that's like the strongest thing I've, ow! <laughs> that hurt. This is the strongest ear lips I've ever seen, for sure. All right, let's switch over uh, to the PFE machine, see how we're doing. Uh, so look at this. I mean, airflow resistance, uh, 103, that's insane. I mean, we've seen that before. I've actually, we tested the Indiana face mask, also American made mask. They were sub 100s uh, with their flat fold design or KN95 design as I like to call it. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, great efficiency. So great fabric. This machine tests just fabric. It doesn't test, um, uh, the fit, we're not really testing fit here. And you need both. You need fit and filtration for a mask, which is why, like, for an N95, I, I like to see that extra, like, uh, you know, nose foam. Also helps with comfort on this. All right, final survey is 99.602, uh, 99.607. I'm looking at it. I'm saying the wrong things. No one knows what's going on. Look, it's like 2 o'clock on a Friday. Give me a break. Thank you for joining me. And uh, you know what? I haven't asked for a while. Give me a, give me a like or subscribe. Or not. I don't actually care at this point. Right. Thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next test.